Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Prices on the FIFA 23 market, they just keep dropping and it's crazy that that is happening because none of us expected Premier League team of the season to crash the market. But again, like we touched on yesterday, it is continuing to happen and I want to talk about why Premier League Tots is having this massive market impact. When are prices going to get too low? When could they start going back up as these Premier League Tots cards just keep dropping down in price themselves. So we're going to talk about that a lot today in the video. And of course, today, more Tots cards come into the game. We even have leaks about EFL Team of the Season is going to be dropped on this game today and potentially an icon pack or another hero player pick pack coming today on this game. We're going to talk all about that and maybe a fodder investment that you might just have to do even looking forward into this week. So if you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe if you are brand new. Really quickly, let's go over yesterday's content. There wasn't a lot dropped yesterday, but there was an SBC that's moving the market a good amount. We finally got the flashback Havertz that we've been looking for and talking about. He dropped with a really nice upgrade. They unfortunately did not boost his skill moves or his weak foot, but the price is what I think is impacting the market the most here. He can play center attacking mid, center forward, and striker, and he got a really big passing boost. Just a nice boost overall. He has great traits. He's also pretty cheap. Coming in on footbin, right around 240,000 coins. This card, as you can see here, a lot of upvotes, and I think the reason why it has a lot of upvotes is he hasn't had a special card in a long time. And it's a good value. And you think about good value, 200,000 coins. A lot of people can afford an SBC that has two different squads inside of it. And those squads are not even that highly rated. I believe it's an 86 and an 88 rated squad inside of Havertz. That's really easy to complete right now. People are packing TOTS cards or getting TOTS cards um, in, you know, even today, right? With the EFL TOTS cards, probably going to be a lot of Tots card as fodder dropped on the market today, and I think this is going to be an easy SBC for people to do, whether they got it done right away or whether they're going to do it here in the future. But that, you know, impacted a lot of Premier League strikers. If we take a look at Prem strikers on this game, they're down like a lot, and it didn't happen right away. Kind of the sell-off took a couple of hours, but if we take a look at some cards like Isak, I sold Isak yesterday for 420,000 coins. Right now, he is down 100,000 coins. He is 320 down bad for Isak there. Look at full birthday. Darwin Nunez, a card that I've been trading with a lot recently. He is down bad as well. He's 300K, 310,000 coins to the five-star skill and five-star weak versions of Darwin Nunez. Crazy to see all of these uh, Premier League strikers dropping, but it also kind of fits how the rest of the market is going right now as well. But a lot of those Prem strikers are just down extra because of the Havertz that was dropped yesterday on this game. So very craftable with upgrade packs coming out. If you want to do Havertz, not a bad card at all. We, of course, had a couple other smaller SBCs yesterday, like the Tots Challenge, which didn't end up giving us a tradable Premier League pack. It was an untradable eight Premier League players pack. I think some uh, Prem right mid, left mids maybe went up a price a little bit for this. And the Daily Silver upgrade also dropped. These two SBCs right here are fantastic for crafting the Prime Bronze, the Prime Silver upgrade. Make sure you're doing all of these because they are absolutely fantastic. And also, I want to touch on this. EA dropped a crazy store pack yesterday. Crazy. Now, I don't think I'm going to open this one, but a lot of people were because of the pack odds that are in this store pack. It's like, what, what is it, 76% from a 3,000 FIFA point, 500K pack. This TOTS Elite pack, 76% chance of a Premier League TOTS blue, which is crazy, right? I mean, this pack had a 55% chance. We were like, wow. That's pretty crazy, but this one here with a 76% chance, a lot of people are doing that, especially because it's 3,000 FIFA points, which is the same as this second half Jumbo Ultimate Pack, and uh, you get 100 rare gold players inside of it. So a lot of people are opening that pack. That's not, I don't think, really contributing to the market crash that much, maybe a little bit, but uh, that was a really, really crazy pack that a lot of people are packing blues fun, but don't be fooled. Uh, there were a lot of people not packing blues as that as well. You think 76% chance guaranteed blue. I'm here to tell you we did a couple on stream and that is not the case. So speaking of the market though and the prices that are crashing, guys, everywhere we look, prices are just they're just going down, right? Especially with this Premier League 
Tots team. Now, there were some good fluctuations to trade with. As we were looking at on last night's video, Harry Kane was down here at like 230, 240. He went up to 280, then went down bad. And like, look at this. I, I bought a couple of Canes at content as well on stream. There were a couple of flipping opportunities in there. Bruno Guimaraes went from like 290 to 320. Uh, Saliba went from 420 to 460. I tried him out and flipped his card. Ruben Diaz had a good fluctuation. But like, if you look at these cards now, man, they are even lower. All of them are lower than where they were last night, bar from like Rashford, right? Rashford and Salah and Holland are just kind of on their own level, right? They're just kind of like out there in the crazy expensive land. But for the rest of the affordable cards that are on this game, like look at these prices. Saliba under 400 Okay, this is why the market is crashing as much as it is. And we mentioned that in yesterday's video, but it is so true as it continued to happen yesterday. These card prices go down. The rest of the market follows suit because really what we're experiencing right now is a massive price correction. A price correction on so many cards that are not really that were overpriced to begin with. If you take a look at some of these trophy titans, like 138k for this Essien card is a wild, right? And he wasn't too expensive in my opinion before at 200,000 coins. But you just have these brand new tots cards coming onto the game at such packable levels and so cheap that it's just dragging the entire rest of the market down with it. And that is really the best explanation of what is happening on this game. Right right now but you might be like Nate there's a lot of coins in this market right people open a bunch of packs why are these prices going down as much as they are when there's a lot of gameplay demand out there and when there is a lot of coins out there for people to buy cards in this game well I think it's just the fact that these prem tots cards are cheap and for right now that's what everybody wants to try and that's what people want to buy out right so yes these cards are really cheap like 260k for a Bruno Guimaraes when his foot birthday was 550k last week it is pretty crazy, but since there's so much hype for these cards and the prices are down so much, you know, it's just that's where all the demand is at. That's where all the motivation is at right now. And people maybe aren't building teams as much. I mean, yes, they definitely are trying out players, but all the focus is on the brand new cards. We saw it last week with the community team of the season. Those cards were fluctuating a ton of price. It's happening again with these Premier League cards. Now, I do think these Prem Tots cards, where do they go today? We have to really watch these cards today to really figure out if this market is going to go lower. I think it really depends on today's content. But I think we might be starting to enter today, later into tonight on Sunday night. We're going to start watching these Premier League Tots cards because there's so much hype and so much demand for them. And they are so cheap. And the supply on the weekends is always the heaviest, right? Weekend League rewards, lightning rounds, stuff like that. Nobody's looking to buy these cards on the weekend so their prices are going down 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 sometime between today on sunday and on tuesday is probably going to be a really good buy time for some of these Premier League cards for your team not all of them right i mean take a look at the community team this season as we compare prices to where they were last week alexis sanchez down bad um ake is up right but coman down bad taram actually down about sixty thousand coins so only a few of your cards each week out of these team of the seasons are really going to do incredibly well and you kind of have to look at this prem tots in the same manner not every card is going to have a really big rise but a lot of them should have some rises from now until the end of the week when we have another league of team of the season coming out with bundesliga but with these cards today if there is more panic if there is more selling especially after today's content which we're going to talk through in a second um these cards are really going to dictate where the rest of the market goes because if these guys go lower like we've been saying the rest of the market will probably go a bit lower as well now if the market goes lower today which i do believe that it will it's not going to be for too much longer and i think we're really going to be entering into a really good buying opportunity what kind of cards would you want to buy into well the first thing i would want to look at is i want to look at some prem special cards specifically on the 100 000 coin range or maybe even below that right i think about cards that people might be buying this upcoming week and i'm talking for like strictly investment purposes only here guys i'm talking about cards people will be buying to do the Premier League Cup because you have to have a full squad of Premier League players and you know a lot of people's focus right now is on the weekend league or you know those sorts of games there's going to be more focus on the cup here in the coming days so watch out for maybe some of your most more recent and most meta and popular cheap Premier League players I like this uh, Lucas Mora there's a good example I still think about my Bukayo Saka who I bought at 130 sold them for like 150 to 160 and and now this guy's back down at 131 right this is still a very very meta, very cheap card that people might want to buy with all the Arsenal links that are in Team of the Season right now as well. 
for their TOTS Cup teams because you do have to actually use Premier League cards unlike last week for the Eredivisie TOTS Cup where you could use any league. So I would watch those cards first because I think those have the best potential and especially the cheapest part of the market. I think that's where the cheaper parts of the market will have the best return on investment earlier or later on this week. And I'm not saying you have to buy today. Just start to watch out for those sorts of cards in the panic uh, as we head throughout the day today. And as there maybe are some more price drop offs going around on this market. So that's all to watch out for first. And then of course the TOTS cards like we're talking about. We're gonna cover the TOTS prices, where they're fluctuating, where they're moving every single day, especially late tomorrow. We're gonna look at, look at it on tomorrow's video how the TOTS cards move for Premier League. Is there a buy opportunity there? But that's kind of why the market is down as much as it is right now. And I've mentioned it a couple times already. Today's content on Sunday plays a big factor into where these card prices go and to where the rest of the market goes today. Because first thing is, we are having new TOTS cards added into this game. We believe it's today. It technically could be tomorrow, but Sunday has always been the day in years past where they have dropped the secondary league of Team of the Seasons in packs and if you look at these these are stats predicted by the way although this guy brownhill evidently posted on instagram and leaked his own card ahead of time and i believe these are the stats that his card showed he's 94 rated it looks like ea um i know we thought about the same thing with premier league team this season but a 94 rated brownhill card is evidently like the best card it's going to be in efl tots and uh it looks like ea might be juicing up these efl team of the season cards a good amount not these not that these guys are going to be like super crazy overpowered and meta and everybody's going to want to use them but they might be some fun cheap new uh cards that especially with the english links that we have here might be able to be put into your team and and try out so joao pedro from wadford that's a card things people would be interested in and it all comes down to the stats on these guys that released today some of these attackers look pretty cracked i mean let's go bro a 92 pace center back if that actually happens that would be wild that seems a bit too juiced but if you're ea think about it these guys haven't had special cards all year all year and if you're gonna make people want to use them you kind of have to juice them up so watch out for the efl tots cards today the number one thing i'm worried about with efl tots cards is and you saw this a bit with the air divisi tots but what this really is going to do today is yeah it's going to drop a couple cool meta cards you might want to try out it's going to drop a lot of fodder cards on this game i would be very careful even though today is potentially a day where we get an icon or a hero pack or player pick i'd be very careful investing in anything that is 87 and above because again those prices could be falling even further on that part of the fodder market today because we're going to have more tots cards released that is more high rated fodder that's going to get pushed onto the market and more supply also if you are somebody who invested in cheap team of the season cards last week i believe these have risen up nicely right there's like 26 27k for veerman all these cards are up if you have those investments i would look to take the money i would probably look to sell these cards because i think they could be coming right back down potentially with new ones coming out today so if you have those and you're in the profit i would just take the quick cash the safe cash and take the money there um, for most of those kind of tots card investments that discard because now you've got more of those types of players coming onto this game so watch out for that the only other leak we have with efl is that they're potentially this is take this leak with a pinch of salt of course um a tight chong potentially coming as a tots moment don't know if that would be an spc don't know if that would be a card that is impacts alongside of the team but uh i've, I've only ever seen this fifa u team guy post about chong which could be a, a pretty interesting card especially with the dutch links could bring some uh, revitalization back to those air to tots cards especially with the dutch links maybe people will want to uh, link those together but watch out for this set of cards these are the right players they're just maybe not the right stats watch for these guys coming into packs day for efl tots and then as we mentioned definitely keep an eye on the SBCs because Sunday's Icon Packs Hero Player Picks. We talked about it yesterday, potential for it coming. It didn't drop early. So they were waiting, definitely EA was waiting for this 88 plus FIFA World Cup uh, Trophy Titans, whatever, Hero Player Pick, Terrible Pack Weight Player Pick to go away. And they're going to drop either a new one of these today or they're going to drop a new Icon Pack. And I think, how, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but I'm pretty sure we've had the 90 plus team of the year and foot birthday icon upgrade. I think we've had that SBC two times. I don't think it's been three. I think it's been twice, but we've seen EA before go on like a three, uh, kind of like a three week thing where they do an SBC three times before they drop a new sort of icon or hero upgrade pack. So we might get the same um, 90 plus team of the year foot birthday or prime 
icon upgrade pack today we might get something completely different there's no true leaks that we have right now so it's really up for grabs they could just re-release the 88 plus hero player pick as well who knows now the best thing i would say to do is to prepare for today stock your low rated fodder we've been talking about 83s to 86s um, really liking the 83s and the 84s. Uh, 84s are up a little bit right after yesterday. Not much, but just a little bit. I would try to snag these at like 2.8, 2.7 if you can. 85s at six and a half and under are good. And 83s, you kind of have to pay like a thousand coins now. Maybe like 950 on bid is ideal. But those cards are almost a zero risk investment as well. I think that's something you might have to do. A club stock on the 90 or the 83s to the 84s and, and probably put in some 85s as well for that SBC today and just more SBCs that are upcoming, right? We're going to have more player SBCs, whether it's for the EFL tots or for Premier League team this season. We still have a flashback Laporte that is leaked, which is making me be a little bit leery about investing in a guy like a Saliba or a Ruben Diaz uh, at the moment, even though Saliba has a ton of hype. And man, I tried him out yesterday. Both him and Ruben Diaz are very good in game. I had one of my best starts to weekend league ever. We are seven and one at the moment. So I'm gonna take those games nice and slowly throughout the rest of these like, uh, next couple days and try to get myself as close to like 11 wins as possible. I know we had a great start, but hey, it gets tough in the second half. So regardless of that, um, watch out for these Tots cards. I don't think they would do a player SBC from the Prem today, but they could. Who knows? That's something that's out there and uh, kind of, you know, looming as well. That flashback Laporte SBC. Now, a no-brainer investment as we get closer and closer to Monday, right? Monday's a big day for upgrade packs. This is an investment we have to do. We have to do this. Everybody needs to go ahead and do this. Bid on gold rares at 650 coins. Stock your club. And if you so wish to do so, go deeply unassigned. If you're going to do a bunch of packs, I hate going unassigned so I can open packs and stuff. But what I'm going to do is stock my club with a bunch of rare golds. And I'm going to start to do it now. And I'm going to do this over the next couple of days because I'm just doing this to get ready for upgrade packs. But stock your club with rare golds because this is an investment just as much as it is making your life easier when the upgrade packs come out on Monday. 650, these guys are probably going to start going up today. I would not be surprised if it gets tough to win them at 650 on bid. Maybe you have to start paying 700, but these guys are probably going to go upwards of 1,000 coins, at least 900 coins to 1,000 coins, like even on Monday, Tuesday, as people start to do upgrade packs for a Premier League team this season, and everybody wants to do this. So that's why I'm going through and I'm going to start stocking my club, stocking my transfer list with the duplicates, because I'm going to hit probably a million coins worth plus of upgrade packs, more than a million coins, I would say, of upgrade packs this week on FIFA, because I'm trying to pack as many blues as possible, and I still haven't packed a Premier League Tots card, which is killing me right now, man. I got to get one. My time is coming. Maybe if I just delay my Tots card pack, maybe I just get a better one. That's what I'm kind of doing. I'm not opening a lot of packs as well at the moment, so that's kind of why I haven't packed one, but we opened a lot on Friday and got a bit unlucky. So I've picked up, as you saw there, I picked up an Isak, um, just to try to flip it and try it out. We'll see if it works out. Definitely don't have high hopes for this, but I bought him at 311 because it was really low and he hasn't gone lower on the market than like 320 and still ASM links. You got Bruno Guimaraes. Some of these guys I think have dropped down a lot and you will be able to trade on this market today, but just find the rare cards, find the rarity flips. That's where I will be trading on this market today with stuff in this game. So make sure you get those gold rares in the club. Make sure you get that fodder in your club as well if you're looking to invest there. And again, for the market, just be careful because today could be another day where prices do go a bit lower. And again, as I'm looking for other cards in this game uh, to kind of trade with and invest in and stuff like that, I'm really not looking anywhere else except for Premier League. Now, I know some cards are getting really, really low from other leagues. Uh, and you're like, like Nate, like, look at this Ganduzi. 300k for Ganduzi is mad, right? Yeah, it is. That's very low. I mean, 280 for uh, foot birthday Marquinhos is like criminal. This guy was 380k on Friday. That's one of the best Brazilian center backs in the game with the PSG links as well. So you look across this whole entire game and you're like, wow, Nate, Eden Hazard at 200k. That's disgusting, right? It is. But for right now, I, there's no demand for those types of cards and the whole market is just kind of correcting. So I don't want to be buying too much of that stuff. We'll talk about Bundesliga cards here soon, uh, but I think that will be something we probably talk about in tomorrow's video because you don't want to buy these cards too early if there's another drop that is upcoming, especially for a guy that can play a center back. If we're going to get 
and SBC like uh, that's Laporte still in the next coming days. So just be careful right now in the market. It's a good time to have your coins pretty liquid. I'm glad I went full liquid yesterday. Had the 10 mil sitting up there in the top left. It looked all nice and pretty. And then we bought a few cards, traded with some things, and uh, actually played some weekend games, trying out Sun, trying out Ruben Diaz, Bruno Guimaraes, Saliba, and uh, a couple others. I forget who else we tried out. But it was a good day yesterday on this game. And today, I think, should be a bit more exciting with new Tots cards and packs. And uh, hopefully some more market fluctuations and movements, especially on these Prem Team of the Season cards. So if you enjoyed the video today, if it helped you out, I'll drop a thumbs up on it. Of course, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. It's been Nate Foot Account and catch you guys there. Peace out.